probably all watch individual. Here's a whole week's size. Move the card belt from all watch individual. Move the all watch individual. Adjust the belt card belt. Inventory list. Make ammunition in the ammo pouches. Two magazines, 15 rounds each. Announce the all watch individual. I'm ready to receive the magazine and the weapon. Ready to receive the magazine and the weapon. The all watch individual. Ensure the barrel of the weapon is in the clearing barrel and perform the following. Verify the safety is on. With weak hand held, you press the magazine release button. Remove the magazine. Transfer the lab magazine portion rounds to the bleak watch. Stop the safety eject mechanism. Rotate the weapon 45 degrees clockwise. Pull along the slide half, ejecting the round into the safety eject mechanism. Transfer the ejected round to the reliever watch. Verify the weapon empty magazine removed. Chamber empty and out. Weapon clear. The reliever watch will receive inventory and inspect the lab magazine in the single round. Insert the single round into the lab magazine and then place a fully loaded magazine into the ammo pouch. After the all watch announces the weapon clear, the reliever watch shall approach the all watch individual on his or her weak side. Take the weapon with the lanyard and bring it to the safe position. Verify the safety is on. Safety is on. Verify the weapon empty and announce weapon clear. Weapon clear. Verify the weapon serial number matches serial number in the log. Serial number matches. Place the weapon barrel into clear barrel. Is it a fully loaded magazine of the weapon magazine well? Release the slide, chambering around, announce weapon loaded. Weapon loaded. Verify the safety is on. Safety is on. Holster the weapon. Holster the weapon, I. Make appropriate log entries, announce to the all-watch individual, I relieve you. I relieve you. The all-watch individual announces, I stand relieved. Sorry, man, the blow deck screwed me. So how's it going? It's the frickin' midwatch. How do you think it's going? Come on, it's the first day back from patrol. We're home. And we've got duty. Well, first day duty is a good deal, because we're only standing like half a duty day. You know, I've heard that before, and every time I hear it, it sounds more and more retarded. It's like being extended for another day. We're home, but we can't go home. That nah, just depends on how you look at it. No, actually, it's a bone job no matter how you look at it. All right, man. Don't want to deny you your disgruntality. Thanks. No problem, petty officer, shipmate. I'm here for you. 927 more days. You'll re-enlist. I'm gonna cut you in the face. Whatever, dude. Okay, so we were watching Transformers on the mess text the other night. The cartoon or the movie? Uh, the movie. The Michael Bay one. Not the James Cameron one or the Peter Jackson one. Uh, it's an awesome movie, don't get me wrong, but the ending... Kinda had problems with it. How so? Alright, so Megatron's completely beating the crap out of Optimus Prime. I mean, just slapping him around like he's his little girl dog. Throwing him against buildings, slamming him to the pavement, chucking him down the street. Optimus Prime is just no match. And that's cool, because since Megatron is so much more powerful than him, he has to use his head to win, right? Yeah. But instead, Optimus just throws in the towel and decides to sacrifice himself by absorbing the all-spark cube into his chest. But before he can do it, that Sam kid just walks right up to Megatron and puts the cube in his chest and dead. I mean, Megatron's like, I am Megatron. No one can defeat me. I will destroy all Autobots. Aw, oh, crap. That even Steven's kid just walked right up to me and put the cube in my chest. I'm 70 feet tall. Maybe I should have kept my chest more than 5 feet off the ground. Uh-huh. Okay, here's how it should have ended. So, Megatron's way too bad for Optimus Prime, right? After getting slapped around for a while, Optimus reaches out and says, Sam, give me the cube. Kid's a sophomore in high school. He's too busy concentrating on not crapping his pants to figure out how to defeat a huge, evil alien robot. So he gives off his prime the cube. He opens up his chest like he's going to kill himself, like I said before, right? At this point, it gets all dramatic. Everything's in slow motion, right? It cuts to everybody, Ironhide and Ratchet and Michaela and Bumblebee. And as Optimus Prime inches the cube close to his chest, Megatron realizes what's happened. Uh -huh. He needs the cube to rebuild his Decepticon army, right? So he lunges for Optimus Prime to stop him from destroying the cube. And at the last second, Optimus shifts his weight, grabs Megatron, slams him against the building, and shoves the cube into Megatron's chest. Optimus says something like, It's over, Megatron. They start playing You Got the Touch by Stan Bush. And Megatron explodes in a giant ball of fire and electricity. You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? Yeah, i got a lot of time to think about things since I found out my girlfriend's whore. Wait, what? You know how the diesel crapped itself two weeks after we got underway? Yeah. So when we pulled back in to let A-Gang fix it, I thought I would stop by our apartment and surprise her. And surprise, she's a whore. Wow. Sorry, man. Nah, it's okay. You learn from these things, right? It's probably for the best. I think I took her taking a dump on my heart pretty well. Hey, you know when a blind guy takes a dump? How does he know when he's done wiping? So, we went from Transformers to your girlfriend cheating on you to blind guys taking a dump. And that's why the Midwatch rules. Whatever, dude. The Midwatch blows. Seems like I've been getting the Midwatch a lot lately. And that's why you don't piss off the section leader. And that's why I shut the hell up. And that's why I shut the hell up. I, petty officer. How much coffee have you had? Actually, I take four hydroxy cuts and drink a can of Red Bull before every Midwatch. If you don't freak out about the heart palpitations, it's a relatively safe alternative to coffee. I think I'll just stick to the coffee. And you know what's better than hydroxy cut Red Bull? Jolt, Cola, and Pop Rocks. And you know what's better than Jolt, Cola, and Pop Rocks? What? Liquid Schwartz. Oh, good God.
were we talking about again? 